Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into another field parameter pattern and its use case. This video is based on a question posted on a forum where user cannot use calculation groups because they cannot use tabular editor as an external tool, whatever the company policies are. And what they wanted to do is select a measure and based on the selection, see all the calculations related to the measure. Let me actually uh, take you to Power BI desktop and look into what we're trying to achieve and what will be the solution. So here in um, Power BI, I have a filter on country, a simple data model, and then we have two measures, quantity, quantity overall average, and sales and sales overall average. So basically the quantity and the sales is shown based on the country selected and overall averages of all the countries. So basically, let's say if I selected Canada. So in 2018, how Canada is doing against overall average quantity of all other countries. So in this case, we have 170 Canada's quantity sold and overall averages uh, all countries is 369. So overall is not changing based of the country we selected. So only quantity versus sales is uh, changing. So that's the first thing. And it's a very simple measure which I created. I can, I will um, uh, show the measure at end of the video. Now, the, the in this visual, this works perfectly fine. But if we convert this visual into a line chart, now the problem is because the units between the dollar amount and the quantity is quite different and quantity is shown right flat at the bottom and this is showing uh, how the sales uh, is doing and how the sales average is doing. Uh, so user wanted to put a slicer on the page where the user can select whether they want to see the sales or they want to see the quantity. If they select sales, then it will show sales and sales overall average. If they select quantity, then they want to see quantity and quantity overall average. If, since they cannot use calculation groups, uh, we have to achieve this using field parameters. And that is the reason why I'm doing this video. So first we will create a field parameter. Uh, let me, it's pretty straightforward how there are tons of videos on this. I will also post the link of my video um, talking about the field parameters, but uh, let's quickly create one. What we're gonna do is modeling, new parameters, fields, and give the name of the parameter. So let's call it uh, select a measure. That's name of the uh, table which will be created and the measures which we want to be included. So in this, I will include all my four measures which I already have. So quantity, quantity overall average, sales and sales overall average. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is what I wanted to do. I'm unchecking add slicer to this page at this point of time. Once we did this, what we have is we will have another table in here called select a measure. Here it is. Now we can use this um, um, table, but it's still not going to achieve the result. We can surely, if we put this as in a slicer, so now I have these four selection here. So if I choose quantity, now nothing will happen here until I actually use select a measure on my Y axis on my visual as well. So I'm gonna put that in there and remove all other measures because we don't want those. So now basically what we are seeing the quantity because we have selected the quantity. If I select quantity overall average, so this should change overall. If I select multiple, it will show multiple um, um, measures. So now this is in a way working, but the little bit challenge with this is the user has to select quantity and quantity overall average and sales and sales overall average to compare each other. Um, so how we can make it work, the user only select quantity, then it shows quantity and quantity overall average, sales and sales overall average. And that's what we're gonna do here is, we are going to group 
our field parameters, add another column to the field parameter tables for the grouping and that will achieve what we are looking for. To do so, I'm going to select select a measure my field parameter table. So all the code is already there. We are not going to change that, but we are going to add one column to it. Um, so what we're going to do is add columns. So we're going to add column and the column name, whatever we want to give, it's a measure. Let's say that's the name or group, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to group those together. So what we're going to say is if our value three column is the ordinal column, which is zero, one, two, three in this table, you can use depending on what pattern you want to use, but I'm going to say, okay, the measures with the ordinal zero and one put in a one group and my years with the ordinal two and three put in a different group, but you can use any different parent. Let's say, for example, value one contains quantity, then you can have a put as in a group quantity, otherwise sales. So I'm going to simply use value three for now. And uh, what we're going to say is value three in zero and one. Now, keep in mind, Depending on when you created the field parameter, how you drag and drop the columns in there, this ordinal changes accordingly. So keep this in mind. So right now I want zero and one in one group and two and three in a different group. So I'm saying, okay, value three in zero and one, then put is in a quantity. Otherwise it's a sales. So what we have is now we have another column in our field parameter called measure. Now that's what we needed to group the measures together. So what we, if I use this in next uh, on top of this uh, um, in the slicer, I bring my new uh, newly added measure column. Uh, so what you will see is we have a quantity and under, under quantity we have two measures and then we have a sales. Under sales we have two measures. So now those are grouped together. So what I can do, I don't need select a measure which is the original column in the field parameter table. I'm going to remove that and just keep my new um, column which is quantity and sales. Now here I don't need to make any change so if I select quantity what I'm going to see is now I'm going to see quantity, quantity overall average and if I use sales now I see sales and sales overall average. So basically with the one selection I'm seeing both the measures and of course if I change my um, country selection that is United States the blue line is United States uh, the light blue is sales of the country selected and the dark blue is the overall average so same with the france depending on which country we are using and now this this should work and only with the one single selection of course we can make it a single select slicer so the user does not select multiple options again that's up to your business needs how you want to do that um, let me actually uh, as i promised look uh, just quickly walk through the average measure so i'm going to call abg We'll pull up one of those measures. So what I'm doing in my average measure, pretty straightforward, average X, all geography country, because that's what is on the slicer. And the sales is just a sum of sales measure. And that is giving me the average. Uh, that's pretty much is in that measure. I hope uh, you found this video useful. Uh, if you are limited not to use the calculation groups, but you want to make this kind of selection, then uh, you can put your extend your field parameter table, add a grouping around it based on whatever your business logic is, and then you can visualize the data and enhance the visualization with less number of clicks. You can achieve the result. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, do subscribe my channel. A uh, lot of Power BI videos um, I'm putting up there, and a lot more other techniques uh, I'm showing in my channel. Uh, do subscribe. Until next video. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.